Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking this video, and don't forget to give your opinion at the comment section below. Now, according to the case of Okia Mutata, the Supreme Court is so trembled that they cannot come out even to go through deeply when it comes to this finance act of the year 2023-2024, financial year. When you look at the case that has come out from the Supreme Court, where the judges came out saying that the case of Okia Mutata was not having basis. Have you realized that since William Ruto came up with Mambu Matatu and even pin, pinpointing these judges, they are terrified, they are confused, it has seemed like they have been threatened, and they cannot even do their work independently. As they are doing their work, they are just remembering about Mambu Matatu of William Samoy Ruto. As now the mandate is on their hand when it comes to the issues, injustices that are there, we are depending uh, we are depending from the judiciary. Now, in any case, when look at the way their judgment they rendered today when it comes to the case of Okia Mutata, that the case of Okia Mutata wanting to this um, finance act to be suspended that never had basis and his case was late because this had already been decided on. But again, despite of Martha Comey's court coming out to uh, throw the case of Okia Mutata, is there any channels that is going to man enable Okia Mutata to come up with another case? Because Okia Mutata is saying this. Okia Mutata is saying this. Kenya wajue kwamba kesi haijatupiliwa mbali. Kesi bado iko imara na tarehe Wednesday tunaanza mapambano. Sasa kwa ufupi tu eh wa rais wa rais ningesema kwa mambo mawili. Ukimsikiza anasema ile mambo ambayo ingependa kusemwa lakini ukienda kwenye kwenye ground ama kwenye sijui nasema kwa Kiswahili ukienda ukienda kwenye ground unapata kwamba mambo hayako vile anasema na pia nimeona kwamba anajaribu kuendesha inji kama headmaster anapoendesha shule ni kama mawaziri wake na watu wengine hawana kazi ya kufanya ndio anafanya kila kitu na atachoka atapata burnout kwa hiyo unaona anataka afanye kila kitu ana lecture kila mtu anajifanya anajua kila kitu na hiyo nadhani inaenda kuwa ngumu kwa rais tukiendelea mbele mimi ningeomba afanye kazi kupitia kwa wizara na taasisi za serikali asifanye kazi mwenyewe direct na ground hiyo ndio shida naona iko nayo lakini pia aheshimu sheria aheshimu sheria kwa vile anafanya kazi yake na itamsaidia kwa sababu sheria ukifuata sheria mara mingi uweze kuteguka lakini anaongea vitu vizuri ambavyo vinafurahisha masikio ukisikia yeah ako na sound bites nzuri sana lakini hizo sound bites tungependa tuone kama zinakuwa action now, that is whatever okia mtata came out saying after the court ruling but now in this analysis do you think that the judiciary is free on their judgment are they comfortable or rather are they independent? It was something that I was looking at when it comes to the case they rendered today. It seems like there is a force behind them. They cannot come out to give their judgment. They cannot even go through deeply when it comes to the case that has been presented before them. As the issue of the Finance Act has been suspended, or rather the case has been suspended, and dismissed, it means that now there is no other avenue for this case. But now Okia Mutata is telling Kenyans that on Wednesday, 
people should not give up on Wednesday there is another uh, judgment that is going to come out now is there hope when it comes to the judiciary because the secret and deep secret that is exposing itself is like these people are terrified they are not giving judgment as per what we are expecting them to, for them to be independent remember judiciary should be independent judiciary should not be controlled by the executive but it seems like executive is everything executive is controlling judiciary executive is controlling legislature an executive is so so little when it comes to their threats and that is why Mambo Matatu of William Ruto is giving these judges a sleepless night. You saw then initially, William Ruto came out saying that uh, those judges who have been, uh, of course, corrupt, they have been found with kind of, they are guilty when it comes to corruption. And when you look at even several judges, they are so corrupt, William Ruto came out warning them and also pinpointing them and telling them that this time round we are not going to accept any kind of corruption when it comes to these judges. But look at the kind of judgment they are giving us. It is a kind of these people are so tired. They are not interested when it comes to these cases. They are being paid Kenyan taxes towards their salary. But when you look at what we are expecting of them, it is not literally something that you see. So I think the case of Okia Mutata must be I think reviewed because the way he came out saying that this finance act 2023 is uh, is of course going to overburden Kenya but at the same time that something that I've realized why William Ruto came out with many forces to defend this finance act 2023 is that this finance act is giving William Ruto more money for me that his close allies are going to steal and this finance the officers or offices of cronies he will construct few houses probably let me see when it comes to the house levy uh, than what I think Uhuru Kenyatta had constructed when it comes to the issue also of employment, where we are being told there are certain money that is going to come out from this Finance Act 2023 that is also going to create employment to Kenyans. As you speak now, unemployment is so high in the Republic of Kenya, and in fact the demand is so high, and even, let me say not demand, but unemployment is so high in this country. That even when you have a job to employ youths, or rather Kenyans, you'll find that you cannot observe them all in your job. So how can we create an environment where all people are going to feel comfortable uh, in the Republic of Kenya? As the Okia Mutata's case has been dismissed and overthrown, but at the same time, Okia Mutata is telling Kenyans that you should have hope that Wednesday, you're going to see whatever is going to happen. But now, I don't think if this is going to succeed, even if Okia Mutata is going to take another case to court, because um, initially what William Ruto came out saying about the judges, the judges were mengizo maji, and they are fearing that in any case they are going to be found opposing and also giving the kind of judgment that is against the government. They are going to be either transferred, they are going to be either to be sacked, from their jobs or they're going to be questioned and that is why you look at the judges or rather the judge who came out um, giving the, the judgment when it comes to this finance act she was transferred to Mombasa from Nairobi to Mombasa that is me that is something that is so so crucial when you look at this case and that is why when you look at even the judge that was transferred from Nairobi to uh, Mombasa she was the one who came out stopping the Finance Act for the first time. And as the appeal was continuing with Okia Mutata, there's something that William Ruto came out roaring, and that is why these judges are fearing their job. So I think judici the judiciary is not uh, independent, and judiciary is a place now where they're not doing whatever it is expected of them, but they are doing as per the force that is coming from the above. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. 
please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.